The food ventures of Soy are powered by our patrons. To become a patron, click the patron link in the description box. Thanks, patrons, for helping to write Soy. So I just pulled over to the side of the road because I always pass this sign saying Little Puerties. I heard that it was closed. I don't, I don't remember from who or what, but I just decided to call and decided they're open. So that's where I'm going to be eating tonight or today. Um, Somerset Falls is close by, so I'm going to stay somewhere around here so I can go there in the morning. But thank goodness I trusted my gut. So let's go into Little Porties. You know, I'm put some bait on it. Yeah. You want to put bait on it? Yeah. What upon it? Yeah. You want shrimp? Yeah, yeah maybe. Right. Mm -hmm. Fish them. Big dog. Try to catch it with this. <laughs> yeah, I have to go buy it. See. So the biggest blackfish you catch are how big? Most fish are big. Eh? Yeah. The one the last time you said, right? Mm-hmm. The, the long fire is so down to my foot. From your, from, your, from your waist to your foot? Yeah. Wow. Never wear it. I'm going to work this Alright, good luck, bro. Yeah. So the garlic lobster with festival. All right, let me just give festival and little potato salad beside. All right, and one one bummy. Yeah. yeah, that sounds good. Right. Yo, today must have been like a really lucky day for me, like no joke. For one, finally made it to Little Porty, and it is an absolute beauty. It's just like where you're entering through, you think that is just deserted, but once you get here, you're just like, yo, amazing. So here's the funny thing. I had some shrimp in the fridge and I said to myself I don't think I'm going to be cooking on this trip and I don't want to waste them because I'm trying to not use too much power to get the fridge really really cold so yeah I was thinking of tossing them but I said you know what let me wait until I find like a fisherman or somebody to give the shrimp to fortunately enough I saw you know this young kid apparently he watches a couple of the videos so I was just like yo shrimp okay cool long story short Somebody came to me and said, yo, um, what's your name? So I'm like, Stephen. And they go, Stephen Philip. And I'm like, yeah. My wallet fell out. And if you know what it is like losing a wallet, you can drop in the comments, but I can tell you it's not going to be nice because it's not the money. It is the identification, the bank cards. It's like you have to really start over your life. So I'm glad that, you know, the people in Portland were really nice because you know the deal. So anyway, we're here. Um, I just ordered some garlic lobster and thing, and I'm super excited. One thing I noticed is that in the background, you might be able to see a raft. If you come here, you want to go rafting, you can do that. And there's a beach down there, right? Yeah, man. So if you want to go on the beach as well, there's that. Yeah, it feels like a little oasis that you could easily drive past. Even though the sign is really big and bold out there, it just seems like nothing is happening beyond that point. Anyway. Yes. yes. 
right now we're welcoming the world to Little Porky. Mm -hmm. And these are the fish that we have that we serve on a daily basis. Mm -hmm. So it would be weighed, it's scale and butted, and it's weighed, and then it's prepared the way you want it. But for you, I'm gonna be doing a garlic butter lobster for you. And I'm gonna be serving you that with some potato salad and some nice festival. Yes. Not the ones you're used to, some better ones. I well, love that. I have a yes. question for you. Yes. What is your preferred way to eat out here? Like when you're doing your fish, what you like? Fried and escovitch is to die for. Nice. Yes. And second to that will be coconut curry. Oh. Yeah. Yes. So on your next visit, you can try the coconut curry. All right. Right? Cool. So I'm going to prepare your lobster now. Better care about what you mean, say. You say. You know what to do early after the presentation. It's like a digital footprint. They travel with you. You know how much people get themselves in a problem too. Sounds like a foolishness, them post post. Digital footprint, yes. Yes, and they travel with them constantly. Even so, if you travel abroad. So I have a question. How long have you guys been out here doing this? We've been this? operating for the past 10 years. 10 years? Yeah. Wow. Mm -hmm. Why the name Lico Porti? We are 10 miles west of the big port. Okay. Our geographical location is similar. So then we just come up with this idea to say Lico Porti. Because gotcha. if you notice, we are on an island, and it not been for these two bridges, you would have been stepping in water. True. So, we chose that name based on the geographical location. Awesome. Yeah. So you guys get a lot, lot of tourists, right? People who come to the falls yeah, and stuff? Yeah, yeah. Not a lot, but we do get our fair share, I would say. Yeah. It could be a lot better, but we do get our fair share. Gotcha. And we won't complain. We just do it daily. I have to tell you, you have, a, you have a amazing spirit. Yeah. I'm like, I, what I love the most about you, when I lost that wallet today, you were searching on social media yes, to find. Yeah, Whether you are my customer or not, trying to find on this property, you have to ensure that you get back your stuff. Because, boy, it's not a nice thing when you lose so much. It's not a nice thing when you lose so much. Trust me. Yeah. Now you're gonna realize that they're not like all the others that you say soft and oily and saggy. Because it's not what you do, but it's how you do it. True. Yeah. How you do it. Because it's some coconut milk. Oh, nice. Yeah. Now we live in a coconut walk. We do everything almost with coconut. So, your sauce will be done with some coconut. Fry it, so you fry it and you drain it. Yes. Yes, because you know what? The oil. True. So you fry it, you drain it. Alright. Ever. So who's dinner is this now? Well, this is one of my customers. She's gonna share it with her two sons. Wow! But because they are small kids, yeah. she rather to take a big fish because you can handle the bones better when the fish is this big. Oh, yes. makes sense. Makes yes. sense. So she take a big fish and share it. And this is a lovely red snapper. Mm -hmm. Yes, and we're gonna do him right now. So here she goes. What do you prefer cooking on most though? The wood fire or gas stove? Right now, mm -hmm. I do have a choice as you can see. It's definitely wood fire. Wood fire for sure. Way. Because to fry a fish, believe me, gas stove to me, I am not saying it can't be done, you know, because we do it at home. Mm -hmm. But because I cook to order and the speed that I have to cook with. No, yes, so, yeah, no, yes, yeah, no. 
Oh, uh, I see. Oh my. They're going to put in your lobster. Then I see them cut them in half, so they're gonna be accessible, mm. easy to come out. Okay, so we're going to put in all the garlic and everything. You can smell the garlic yes, already. Yes. I'm a huge fan of garlic. Yeah, man. That's the super food. Same coconut, same coconut. I mean, nobody tell you nothing, nothing no better than when you burst your nuts. You know, I never realized that Portland had so much coconut trees. Yes, ma'am. A lot. Yeah, there are plenty of coconut that's for the two boys and you say you want one piece of the festival yes, so there you go watch the oil hot so I try it to get that you know let me try it too big because you want it to cook perfectly and evenly without being burned sorry right so you don't need too much of a big fire Everything in moderation on the top. Yeah, you're good for sure. Yeah, come quite Quite lovely. You want skin? You have a taste of pepper? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do you have a taste for pepper? Uh, pepper. Oh, yeah. In my van right now, I actually have a, a brown pepper. Yes, the baddest one now. Yeah. They're hot. Right. Is there the fry? Yeah. Look at the color. Look at the difference of the oil here and there. Juice still into the fish, that's why you see these bubbles. If you're around here frying different, you can see that the deep fry just burn up on the inside not properly. So, in everything you do, there's always a little technique to wash your This is coming up lovely. If you travel across Jamaica, swimwear is a travel essential with all the rivers and beaches on the island. Bikini Bottoms is ready to be your travel companion. Check out their IG page for your bikini if you ever get stuck on the island. All right, so that was really quick. Like it didn't take long for them to get this um, dish put together and for me to have and it looks really good smells really good as well so without any further ado let's dig in and it's always good sometimes to exercise patience because i could have stopped and just gotten fried chicken and rice and peas but like i've been saying yo it's just a vibe follow the vibe wait on the vibe the vibe always comes through yo all right Ooh. all right so the method to this is a bit different than i've ever seen before colors are a little bit different too but that's the beauty about trying food from different people. You know, they do their own way. Mmm. Wow. The flavor hits you immediately. Mm-hmm. Wow. Let me tell you. Usually for like lobster, it doesn't really carry flavor very well. I don't know how she did it, but the flavor in this is bussin'. Yo, it's that sauce, like the sauce has coats the entire lobster. Jesus. Oh my gosh, brother. Glad me come out to see it. Mm -hmm. Wow. 
just look at that, guys. Oh, my camera fell. Wow. It's really nice and spice. I've never eaten lobster with this flavor profile before. And I appreciate that. I really appreciate that. Every time you go to a different restaurant, you can have the same, the same name on the dishes, whether it's curry or garlic or whatever. But it's good when you can go to a restaurant where it just tastes different, and it's not like a bad different; it's a good different. Mm-hmm. Definitely recommend if you're in this area. Just make that turn in. Might seem like nothing is going on, but something is definitely going on back here. It's really good. And the price point too, is good. It's bummy. It's bouncing. I kind of wish I had ordered more.
guys 10 out of 10 would recommend if you're passing this area let me tell you like in terms of food it's quite barren but here them of it like i was saying earlier that i never thought that we'd get seafood but we did get seafood and this one wasn't so conventional it was different it was refreshing i really enjoyed my experience here guys like i said recommend it nice vibe nice people just nice area what i also recommend is the coldest bottle you guys know if you guys are supporting this actual adventure that i'm going on you want to get a huge discount by using the discount code that i have check the link in the description box and when you purchase a bottle i do get a small kickback so it's a win-win you get a bottle and i get something in return and you guys know that i bring this bottle with me everywhere like i have probably like four other ones but for some reason this one is my favorite they say sides don't matter but honestly mm, yeah, I prefer to use this bottle. Anyway, I'm gonna get me some coconut water and then... Uh, now, I'm a little bit nervous. I previously said that my rule out here is I should have a campsite by like 5 o'clock. It is now 5.02, so I am pretty much screwed. But hopefully we can find like some beachfront or something, just chill out for the night and yeah, a little bit nervous, but um, yeah. This is the journey that we're on. It's exciting, it's challenging, and it's it's new for me. Anyway, let's get a coconut water and be out of here. Yeah, respect, respect, Mark. Guys, this cup is 46 ounces, and two coconuts gave me 46. That's a lot of water. Wow. Holy <laughs> <laughs> water. A lot.